both players really rising to the occasion, Donald. That tiebreaker was won by winning shots, not by errors. McEnroe to serve. First game of the third set. This is a three out of five set match. It is dead even at a set apiece. And now this is a tough point because McEnroe very disappointed after having a shot at that tiebreaker. He got even at four games, four points all. And now he's serving in the first game of the third set. Definitely let down. He would like to be up two sets to love, and he's not. And Lendl really pumped. He will be tougher this set. Well, he's definitely, obviously, <coughs> into the match, Donald. He started to move better, served better, and certainly kept the ball in play with great pace in that second set. We've seen a very composed John McEnroe out here throughout the week. Donald mentioned earlier he has really improved in terms of court behavior, at least certainly in this event. <clears throat> I think he's just concentrating, Barry, the whole time. Well, against a guy like Lendl, who is playing so well now, He's got his hands full. He doesn't have time to do anything except concentrate. Remember, the last guy to beat Lendl was John McEnroe. Back to back at the Volvo International and then the Canadian Open this summer. Looked like he might be starting one of those streaks, but Lendl changed all that at the Open. Interestingly enough, these two played in the qualifying of the U.S. Open back in 1980, believe it or not. That is hard to believe. Qualifying. The qualifying. And McEnroe won in four sets. Pretty good outside match, wouldn't you say, on a Court Saturday? <laughs> hard to believe where they have come since that. All right, Lendl is 15.30 now, has a second serve. There is the difference when John misses his first serve. Lendl tees off. 15, 40. Now watch the swing. He's got plenty of time, and he just tremendous roll on the backhand. Two break points. Tatum O'Neill still looking on, but McEnroe now in instant trouble here in the first game of the third set. Down 15, 40, and suddenly the entire atmosphere of this match has changed. McEnroe struggling, Lendl seemingly coming on strong. Go wide. Game and Lendl now moving flawlessly, hitting great shots off the forehand and backhand return. Breaks serve in the first game of the third set. He leads one love in the third. This match is a set apiece. McEnroe won the first 6-1. Lendl the second in a tiebreaker 7-6. The score, one love for Lendl in the third. We are back at the Sports Palace in Antwerp, Belgium, with a great final match on our hands here. The two best players in the world squaring off. It's a set apiece, and Lendl ready to serve in the second game of the third set. He has a service break. McEnroe now taking lots of time as that million dollar trophy still sits in its case there and Lindell now thinking a little bit more about hauling that thing out of here at the end of the day. It looms large there in the background. Remember the player that wins this tournament three times over a five year period qualifies for that million dollar racket. Good first serve from Lindell, 15 love. And Donald looking a lot stronger now. McEnroe seems kind of dejected at this point in the match. Well he's down a break in the third. <clears throat> That's no fun. This is a real test of Lendl's ability. As McEnroe has been so sharp. Oh. I don't believe the way these guys play the game. Well, we've seen point after point where, we, where we've been just delighted with the, with the winners. Now watch here. McEnroe comes in. He makes one good volley, and look where he is, out of court, and Yvonne runs it down. 
but what a shot to hit from a defensive position. I think McEnroe felt he had won that point with the volley. It was a great cross-court backhand volley. 30 love, Lendl. Oh. You can hear those strings being straightened on a very tightly strung racket that Lendl uses. McEnroe, much more loosely strung racket. Big forehand of Lendl, too much pace. McEnroe couldn't handle the volley. No. And if Lendl wins this point, this will be the easiest service game of the match for Yvonne Lendl. McEnroe really mishits that forehand. The ball hits on his side of the net. And into the surface before it hits the net, and Lendl quickly goes up to Love in the third. And they have really converted an old sports arena into a beautiful tennis setting in the middle of Antwerp. now, Donald, looking like the old Lendl at the U.S. Open. Completely free, swinging and hitting nothing but winners. Love 15. McEnroe does not want to let this set slip away. He's already down a break. Facing another dangerous serving situation here. 15 on. You know what I think McEnroe's thinking is I'm playing great and I ain't winning. Isn't that incredible? He is. He's playing very well. And that's starting to bother him because he knows just how well he's played the first two sets compared to his play the last, say, seven weeks. Clean winner up the line from the backhand of Yvonne Lindell. Now watch he, here. Lindell keeps that ball very low. He can go either way. John guessed wrong, and Lindell rolls it in. He had enough time there that he could fake him a little bit with his backswing and his shoulder rotation before making the shot. McEnroe still in trouble. Down 15-30. Down a break. Ace. Clean ace. Lendl knew it. <laughs> Lendl looked back at that ball and started screaming at the ball as though, <laughs> get closer to me. <laughs> Great competitive spirit from both players. This match, a much better match than the final at the U.S. Open back in September. Not even close for shot-making ability and consistency. Oh, this has been a very, very tight even match. Again, McEnroe. the ace down the center from McEnroe. And so McEnroe comes out. The score, 2-1, Lendl leading.